Welcome to FERC's Open Access. I'm Mary O'Driscoll. Our guest today is Neil Chatterjee, the new chairman of FERC. Chairman, you've been here about a week, having been nominated by President Trump in the spring and confirmed by the U.S. Senate on August 4th. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you. It's been a crazy week. So you're chairman of the commission now. Is this a temporary thing or what? I'm serving as chairman until Kevin McIntyre is confirmed. I'm excited about the opportunity and take the responsibility seriously. I'm going to work hard, and I look forward to working with my colleagues and the outstanding FERC staff through this transition. So given that you have the gavel until Kevin McIntyre is confirmed, what is your vision for FERC? Of course, my first priority is to get started on the accumulated backlog. I heard about it all through the Senate confirmation process. There's a lot of consternation out there, and I'm committed to working with uh, my colleagues to get after it right away. I'm also committed to the resilience and reliability of our electric system. These are essential to national security. And to that end, I believe baseload power should be recognized as an essential part of the fuel mix. I believe that generation, including our existing coal and nuclear feet, need to be properly compensated to recognize the value they provide to the system. You know, I'm a Kentucky native. I've seen firsthand throughout my life how important a contribution coal makes to an affordable and reliable electric system. Last year, coal provided over 80%, 80% of the electricity in Kentucky. As a nation, we need to ensure that coal, along with gas and renewables, continue to be part of our diverse fuel mix. I'm also looking forward to following the president's charge to create jobs and stimulate economic growth through infrastructure. I believe working through the backlog, especially evaluating the infrastructure projects before the commission really could help spur economic development. I've been also fascinated by technology and the innovation in the energy sector, and I'm looking forward to exploring what opportunities exist for these new technologies. And of course, electric reliability and cybersecurity will always be a priority for me and for the commission as a whole. Both you and Commissioner Rob Powelson are brand new here, and you're joining longtime Commissioner Cheryl LaFleur, so now we finally have a quorum. So how do you expect your relationships to be with your new colleagues? I uh, am so looking forward to working with them. Commissioner LaFleur has just done an amazing job holding the commission together through these quorumless months. She's really been the glue. We've known each other for a number of years. We are both New England Patriots fans, or at least I'm a Tom Brady fan. I know she appreciates that. And beyond that, I really know that I'll profit from her knowledge and experience. Commissioner Powell and I have also known each other for a number of years, and we've developed a real rapport going through the confirmation process together. It's a unique experience, the Senate confirmation process. And I can tell you, having survived it, thankfully, it'll bond you together. And Rob and I really formed that bond, and I think it'll help us and the commission in the years ahead. Really, I think we all bring different strengths to the commission, and I'm confident we'll be a great team, and I'm really looking forward to working with this team. Okay, about that accumulated backlog you mentioned earlier, how do you plan to attack that backlog of orders that need votes by the commission? So I have to tell you, if not for just the incredible work and commitment and dedication of Commissioner LaFleur and the FERC staff, I would be really daunted and worried about the task ahead of us. But Commissioner LaFleur and the staff have done so much of the groundwork in preparing for the return of a quorum that I feel very confident that we'll be able to work through it. I look forward to talking with my colleagues and staff to triage the orders and start going through them. It's going to take some time, but because of all of the tremendous work that has already been done to date, we'll work through them as soon as we can. And I think we'll be able to achieve that. Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping by Open Access. Thank you for having me. FERC is an independent regulatory agency that oversees the interstate transmission of electricity, natural gas, and oil. Review of proposals to build interstate natural gas pipelines and liquefied natural gas terminals and licensing of non-federal hydropower projects. FERC protects the reliability of the high-voltage interstate transmission system through mandatory reliability standards, and it monitors interstate energy markets to ensure that everyone in those markets is playing by the rules. Unless otherwise noted, 
The views expressed on these podcasts are personal views and do not necessarily express the views of individual commissioners or of the commission as a whole. This podcast is a production of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission Office of External Affairs, Leonard Tao, Director. We will be updating our posts when we've got news, so be sure to check out our website, www.ferc.gov, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn to find out when our next podcast airs.